And if you're a fan of high scoring high school football in tonight's game of the week, we'll have you on the edge of your seat. D. Jackson standing by live in Raytown with the details. D. Frank, I don't think there's a high school football team that's any hotter than Fort Osage right now, a team that's steamrolling its way through the season. In fact, when you talk about this team, there's a lot of facts that follow them. 73 to 7 win last week over Oak Park. Yeah, the Indians hope to ride into Raytown with that same winning formula. And when you talk about all the things that this team has accomplished so far, their success starts under center. Quarterback Skylar Thompson leads the league in passing with 578 yards while running back Ezra Vawifi is lighting it up on the ground. He already has racked up 821 yards rushing through the first four games as Fort Osage sits atop the standings. The home team, Raytown, well, they're currently in fourth place, but what a win this would be for them tonight. The Jays may be one and three, but don't let that record fool you. Last week, Raytown captured their first win of the year in convincing fashion, beating William Crispin 42 to nothing. And two weeks ago, falling to North Kansas City by just three points, 34 to 31. Now, we're going to have plenty of reaction coming your way. In about 30 minutes, the gloves will be coming off. These two teams will be doing battle, and we'll have all the results for you coming up tonight at 10. Morning live in Raytown, D. Jackson, 41 Action News.